Nothing gets me in the right mindset for the Halloween season like making jack-o'-lanterns. So in this video, I'll be customizing this small 57 cent paper mache pumpkin because I wanted to do something fairly quick. I didn't sketch out any ideas, but I've had this dense label roll for a while that might look cool for eye holes. So I'll just cut off two short lengths to use. It's a pretty small pumpkin, so I drew the nose in line with the eyes so that there would be more room for the mouth. With pretty much every jack-o'-lantern I make, I end up tilting the pumpkin back so that you can actually see it without having to get down to eye level with it. So I cut out the bottom jaw and then cut out a piece of chipboard, you know, the kind that you find at the back of a legal pad, haha. -ha. And that will serve as a flat base to hot glue the two pieces of pumpkin back together. I separate the first ridges of the pumpkin on either side of the mouth to better connect it to that base of chipboard to get the pumpkin looking more pumpkin shaped and also further exaggerate the mouth. This will make the sculpting process later a lot less work. With a few more slivers of chipboard and some hot glue, I patch up any gaps that I'd created. And if I used too much hot glue or some of the chipboard was protruding a bit too much, I could just shave it down with a knife to help refine the overall shape of the pumpkin. So I am not an expert at any of this stuff and I don't claim to be. And part of that is I'm always experimenting with new materials and methods. And this year is no different. I didn't wanna make a huge mess like I usually do by making paper mache paste, then waiting days and days for it to dry. And I also didn't want to drive an hour to buy like some sort of air dry clay or something. So the only real sculpting material that I could find in my town at the time was Crayola Model Magic. I think the four ounce bag was about five bucks. And I also found this box of four one ounce packages on clearance for three bucks. I've never used Model Magic before, but had seen a few videos where crafters used it to not great results. It's not a conventional air dry clay. I've never used foam clay either, but I think it's just pretty much foam clay. It can be smoothed with water, which is exactly what I want to make this cardboard and hot glue monster smooth like an actual pumpkin. One problem though, the model magic only really sticks to itself and definitely not to paper mache. But I have the solution, Old Faithful Tight Bond 2 Wood Glue. I mix a little bit in with the clay and it works like a charm. So much for not making a mess though. Model Magic tends to sag and the addition of wood glue did not fix that. So I don't heap too much on in any one place because it will be subject to gravity, obviously, while it cures. Another, let's say, quirk of Model Magic is that it takes 72 hours to fully cure. I was able to work on it more after about a day, but the model magic was still kind of spongy, so I had to be careful of how I held it to sculpt the back half of the pumpkin. I also carved down the bottom of the nose so it sat flush with the rest of the pumpkin. I just think it looks better that way. I use quite a bit of water to keep the Model Magic glue mixture smooth and free of fingerprints. So I went over it with a heat gun to dry it up a bit and not make the curing process any longer than it already is. I wasn't trying to cook the clay with the heat gun, I just wanted to dry it. As with most cheap clays, there was quite a bit of cracking. This wasn't a big deal though. This happens with paper mache paste too. I just used some paintable caulk from Dollar 25 Tree, which is also able to be smoothed out with water. 
and I was able to get the most egregious of cracks covered up. Once dry, I take it outside and spray paint the pumpkin inside and out with a golden sunset yellow. All of my jack-o'-lanterns have been a standard orange, so I thought I'd try yellow this time for a base color. Then with some orange craft paint, I build up depth in the recessed areas. Nothing crazy. Apart from the three-day cure time, I was actually pretty impressed with the model magic once I mixed the wood glue into it. It's lightweight and it smooths easily. I wouldn't want to use it to make an actual sculpture, and I've heard about as much from others in my research of the product, but to flesh out a paper mache and hot glue pumpkin, it works pretty great. I only ended up using two of the four one ounce packages, so there's plenty left to use on more pumpkins. If you have any weird crafting concoctions that you found work surprisingly well, I'd love to hear them. Comment them below. And if you enjoyed watching me fumble around making this jack-o'-lantern, put that like button in a sleeping bag and slam it against a tree. All right, cool. Catch you later, campers.